As more and more systems become autonomous, machine vision, or helping robots see and understand the world, is becoming more and more important for virtually every aspect of our lives. Yeah, and all of these spaces are changing very rapidly, so we're going to introduce four trends in machine vision sensor technology. Trends we're talking about here are for machine vision, so not consumer photography like maybe your DSLR. Instead, these trends apply to applications like autonomous vehicles, manufacturing, and logistics. The first trend is edge AI or edge artificial intelligence. And this is a type of AI where all the computation happens at the edges or the fringes of the network. Makes sense, um, edge yeah. AI. Exactly, all the devices kind of on the periphery. And this is optimal because it allows a much lower amount of data to be sent back and forth between devices in the centralized unit. The second trend really builds on the first trend, and this is higher resolution sensors for AI. Machine vision and AI aren't really, you know, brand new topics together, uh, but traditionally there have been uh, much lower resolution sensors used. So sort of like, you know, VGA resolution and sampling rate sensors. One example of this is the Sony IMX500 sensor being built into Lucid Vision cameras. And so along with the Atrio software platform from Sony, uh, a lot more can be done, more novel applications can be explored, um, and just different, different things in general. Another sensor trend is event-based machine vision, also known as neuromorphic imaging. So here, we're not imaging the entire field of view at once, Instead, we're just looking for changes in the intensity of a pixel. So if I freeze and don't move at all, it's not recording anything until I start moving again, then it's actually recording something on that sensor. Mm -hmm. This technique greatly improves system speed, temporal resolution, and dynamic range. It's very useful in situations like robotics, autonomous vehicles, and other situations where recording a change is the most important thing. Finally, there have been a lot of advances in SWIR, or shortwave infrared imaging. So, Sony has released some new sensors that capture both visible and shortwave infrared wavelengths. And in order to capture these kinds of infrared wavelengths, the sensor has to be made out of different materials, like indium gallium arsenide or indium phosphide. Lots of indium. Advances in SWIR sensors have made them easier to make and therefore cheaper, which just makes SWIR applications a lot more accessible. So some of these SWIR applications include assessing the health of crops, pharmaceutical inspection, and sorting plastics for recycling. Machine vision technology is changing really quickly, so it's important to keep track of what's actually happening and the new applications that will eventually uh, go on to improve everybody's lives. Definitely. Yeah. I'm Kyle. And I'm Corey. Thank you so much for joining, and that's all we have today. Bye. See ya.